Laura and Vitaly. On this episode of Laura in the Kitchen, I'm going to show you how I make my focaccia rolls. They are incredibly simple to make. I used to make these so, so many times when I had the restaurant with my dad because these were the rolls that we served all of our sandwiches on and everybody loves them. But they couldn't be easier to make, so I'm really excited to show you this recipe. So before we get started, let's go over the ingredients. We're going to need some pizza dough, either whole wheat or white flour, does not matter. Some garlic, some dried rosemary, extra virgin olive oil, salt and pepper. Now at the restaurant we made our own pizza dough. So every morning we would make sheet pans full of these rolls because like I said, we served all of our sandwiches on them. Uh, but you know, for me, it's easier to buy pizza dough at the grocery store or I like to go to my favorite pizza shop and just ask to buy a couple of, dough, you know, a couple of um, balls of dough and they'll cost me like two bucks per pe a piece and I don't have to make my own dough. But if you wanna make your own pizza dough, go check out my pizza episode and they'll can, I'll show you there how to make homemade pizza dough. But for now, I'm using the store for some help. Now what we're going to do first is make the garlic oil that we're going to brush over the top and you can make this in a blender or you can make this in a food processor. I'm just going to do it by hand really really quickly by grating the garlic in a little tiny bowl. That's great. You're looking for the garlic to be almost like a paste and if you don't have a little grater like that you can just use uh, a knife and just you know chop until it's really really fine and then you're going to add in some olive oil. Just enough to make it nice and thick and paste like that, it's about right. So that's done, your garlic part is done. So now we're gonna work on the dough. First let me clean this olive oil up so my dough doesn't stick. And now I'm just gonna sprinkle some flour on my work surface here so that the dough does not stick. So, that looks good. I also have a sheet pan here with some parchment paper ready for my rolls to go on top of. Now here's how it goes. Take the dough, which I put some flour on the plate as well, so it didn't stick. Take your pizza dough, and this is a one pound ball of pizza dough. Flatten it with your hands. And then I like to use a pastry cutter like this, but you can use a knife, you can use anything you want. And I'm gonna make four rolls out of here. And they're gonna be pretty big, so that's great. Shake off any excess flour, put them on the baking sheet like so. And now I'm just going to take a sharp knife and make just a few slits over the top. We used to use like a little razor at the restaurant but a sharp knife does the job just as well. And then you take a pastry brush and your garlic oil and you brush that garlic oil all over the top of each roll. Last one. And then I like to just sprinkle some dried rosemary. And I'm telling you, this is exactly what we used to do at the restaurant. So what you're seeing here is what I did every morning for a good hour or so because we needed, you know, hundreds and hundreds of rolls. But this is just a much you know, smaller scale. And then just some black pepper and a touch of salt on each one. Not too, too much though. That'll do. Wait, that one didn't really get much. Now all I'm going to do is cover this with some plastic wrap and I'm going to let this sit somewhere warm for about 45 minutes to an hour or until they've kind of puffed up and risen a little bit and I'll show you what that looks like when they're there. Now I let these rise a little bit in a warm place for about 45 minutes and now I'm going to bake them in a 400 degree preheated oven for about 15 minutes or so or until they're lightly golden on the top and the bottom. These baked for 15 minutes at 400, as you can see they're perfect. I'm a little bit scared to dig into them because they just came out of the oven and I know they're going to be really hot, but I just want to show you what the inside looks like. Look how fluffy that is. See the steam? That is amazing. It's got a nice crust on the outside, super fluffy on the inside. I'll give this a quick bite. That's good stuff. Mmm. You can serve this with anything. Mmm, so good. You can serve this with absolutely anything. What I plan to do with them is to make like a chicken, chicken breast with pesto and melted mozzarella and tomato. It's gonna be one heck of a sandwich that I can't wait to sink my teeth into. But this is just an all-purpose roll that you can make every couple of days in your house to have fresh bread. And this is a substitute for any rolls I've ever used on Laura in the Kitchen. If you have these on hand, 
you can substitute whatever I use in the laundry kitchen. For example, for cheese steaks, if you can't find crusty rolls, you can use this, which we used to. If you can't find, you know, burger buns, for example, you can use this bread. It's just an all-purpose bread that you can make in no time at all with just a little bit of a help from the supermarket by, by buying the pizza dough already made. But if you've got time on your hands, go ahead and make your own pizza dough. I salute you for that. Good for you. Good job for making your own pizza dough. But that's it. I hope you've enjoyed spending time with me. To make this recipe and others, go to www.lauren... No, 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 no. To get this recipe and others, go to www.laurenandkitchen.com. Not to make this recipe. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.